And then all the way. <laughs> that would be a little much, huh? Everybody, let's go ahead and install this cool little thing. First of all, what comes in the package is the bidet itself. You've got a little T adapter here, as well as a rubber washer, and you've got the tube and plumber's tape. First of all, let's go ahead and take off the lid itself, which usually you do so by accessing that guy there and that guy there. Go ahead and take the bidet and balance it right on here like so, so that those holes align with the holes in the bidet. You might have to rotate these little discs so that they align just nicely. Just make sure that this is symmetrical because it's a little awkward if you had to mount it a little bit this way or a little bit that way and you have to position yourself to try to get clean. So symmetry is key here. Now go ahead and put the seat and the lid back on along with the screws going down there and there through the holes and use the existing fasteners to tighten it back down. Before you tighten the screws all the way down uh, and it's nice and loose, you can actually adjust your bidet like this to make sure it's just in the right position. And then once it's in the right position, nice and symmetrical, then go ahead and tighten down those screws and the lid and the seat all the way. Now the water part. First, let's go ahead and empty the tank completely. You're gonna want to take this existing tube off. To do so, first of all, turn off the water like so, there we go. I would recommend actually putting a bowl underneath this because when you undo this, water will dribble out. Now you're going to unscrew this part right up here and you're gonna be putting the T adapter in. The uh, T adapter does come with this little grommet. Just make sure that this goes uh, flat down, kind of like a turtle, does that make sense? So it's domed and put this inside the T adapter like this. And the folks that supply this bidet actually also supplied some a little bit of plumber's tape. So you can use this to wrap around the existing threads to make sure that it is going to be watertight. Lastly, take the hose that the bidet supplied and you're gonna attach it to the T adapter and then the other end is going to be going into the back of the bidet right here. Now with your bucket or Tupperware underneath everything, go ahead and turn on the water supply and check for leaks. Also, be sure to check the bidet connection itself. Sometimes I like to take a little piece of dry toilet paper because moisture can show up on dry toilet paper a lot, lot better. So I just kind of dampen it around like so and see if there are any kind of drips coming out. And so far, absolutely nothing. And that pretty much completes it, but let's go ahead and test it. Of course, we're gonna have it on the lowest possible setting. It's good to have a little piece of uh, Tupperware there when you do test it so it doesn't spray you in the face. Here we go, let's try a posterior. There it goes, there it goes, and very nice. Oh, that's very gentle. Let's try it a little bit uh, more firm. Oh, wow, that's very firm. And then all the way. <laughs> that would be a little much, huh? And then, of course, to stop it is the red button in the middle. And let's try the, the feminine clean, they call it. That little guy right there. And then let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit. And there it goes. It works beautifully. And then lastly, we're gonna test the self-clean option. We're gonna push that. And it looks like both are kind of spraying out at that moment. And that just kind of self-cleans the entire unit in there already. And let's go ahead and stop it. And that completes the installation. I hope this helps everybody.